Welcome back, everybody. I am Professor Lego, and I have my assistant here. Hi. And today we're going over programming for an EV3 robot. So this is the EV3 kit. This set number is 31313. And this set includes all of these different objects for the EV3. And we're going to go through each and individual sensor and motor and controller later. But today we're going to talk about the software, the software itself. So where do you even go get, to get the software to program this EV3? Well, where you want to go is to the official LEGO website and download the software needed in order to get started programming your EV3. And what we've included right here, right here in this box above our assistant's head is Chrome. So when you go to Chrome, you're going to type in Lego Mindstorm or Lego Mindstorms. And what you're going to find, depending on what your search is, is going to be a couple different links for Lego Mindstorms. So that can be confusing. It could be the Amazon store. It could be the Lego Mindstorm Wikipedia. What you want to find is the one that says lego.com. And you're going to want to go to the home page and not the shop page. So the one that you see here is the one that you were really looking for. So you're going to click on that and it's going to bring you to this website, www.lego.com. And then depending on your language, it will be different in there. And then Mindstorms. So it looks like this, right? And what you're going to see is multiple tabs here. And each one of these tabs has really great information, but it can be confusing if you're just looking for the download for the software for the EV3. So you can see here you have Mindstorms, which is the homepage, products, apps, build a robot, fan robots, learn program, videos, games, downloads. The one we're looking for is in downloads. Then inside of downloads, you have multiple choices here. The EV3 programmer app can be downloaded to your tablet or phone, and you can use it on Apple products or Android products. So you can click on this and it will take you to the store of your choice. And then you can download that app, that programmer app. But you found a problem with it, right? Yeah, it does not include all of the blocks that are necessary for some of the more advanced programming. Yeah, it definitely has the ability to control the motors, but some of the sensors aren't showing up. You're not going to get the full functionality of the EV3 unless if you're using the EV3 programmer app. The one we're going to install is this one. This is the PC slash Mac program that has all the functionality that you're going to need to work on your EV3 programming. So you can go to learn to program and it will teach you several th different things or you can continue on to watch our series and teach you how to program using the EV3. So we're looking for this button that says download software. When you click on it, it's going to take you to another page inside of lego.com. Remember, stay on lego.com and it's going to have two choices, download for Windows and download for OS X. So we are using a Windows PC, so we're going to click on this button here. Now you can see it starts downloading, and you can see the little dial here is turning around, showing that it's downloading to your default location. So when it finishes downloading, you're going to want to go to your default download folder. In our case, it's our downloads folder inside the quick access. So when it finishes download, and you'll start seeing the icon in your browser, you're going to also want to find that icon in the e and the exe file in your downloads folder. So go to your downloads folder as you see here and you'll see the little icon that is for the full EV3 exe file. When you double click on it, it's going to automatically start extracting the files and installing this program. You're going to get a prompt that says do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? You're going to hit yes. So what you're going to see, you're going to see this, so the extraction of the files. And then as soon as this finishes, it's going to start installing the file. So next you're going to see this pop up. This is the 
installer for the Lego Mindstorm program. So you can see here, this is the default directory for where it wants to install the program. Now you can change this to wherever you want it to be, but if you just hit next, it's going to install it in this address. So when you go to look for the file and look for the program, remember that it's under the C drive, program files, Lego software, Mindstorm, EV3 home edition. So hit next. Then you have to accept the terms and conditions, make sure to read those and then hit next again hit next and now it's starting to install the program so as this continues on i want to show you this so this is our default robot kit that we built specifically for this application this is there just to show you all the different functions of the servos and the different motors so you can see here these are the two large motors and the medium motor is in the middle, and we're gonna use that later. The sensors that the EV3 kit comes with is a bumper or touch sensor, the color sensor, and the infrared sensor. Then we're all gonna talk about how those functionalities work later. And we actually even built our own caster wheel. It doesn't come with a caster wheel. If you're using it for FLL, I highly recommend buying a caster wheel. But in this case, we built our own so that when driving this, it'll be more like a tank. It'll steer more like a tank left and right, and that's gonna equal easier programming. So that's how we built it. Now, you can build your own devices. This is just a different way of doing it. And if you want, please leave a comment down below and we'll show you how to build this. But it's not the best setup for FLL, nor is it the best setup for your application. But it's for what we're gonna use just demonstrate all the functionality of the motors and the sensors and the programs that come with the EV3 kit. Now it's done installing. So now it looks like this, the Lego Mindstorm EV3 Home Edition install is complete. You hit oh, finish. And now you can actually see the Lego Mindstorm logo has been installed on the desktop. So you can see that there. Now you want to go and click on the shortcut that they put onto your desktop and it's going to go to this alert if you have certain safety firewall protocol so make sure you hit allow access and now you can hear it right you can hear the mindstorm web the program already up and running now it kind of looks like a website the way it's set up. <laughs> and if you click on each one of these items, you're gonna see in here the robots move. And if you want to go into any of these, it will show you how to build and program each of these devices, which is very cool. I think the app is well built and you can follow along very easily. So where do we want to go? There's a little plus at the top left corner of your screen. And, as, and when you click on that, yep. it will make a new project. And this right. is where you can program. Right. So this video was all about downloading the software, installing that software, and getting it ready to start programming your EV3 robot. We're going to stop it here. And I want to ask you to please subscribe down below to get the next in the series of us starting to program this robot and teaching you how to program with the EV3 kit. Thanks everybody for watching. Bye. Bye-bye.